Hey y'all, hey, Amanda here, and today we're going to be unboxing, because it came in a box this month, the Medusa's Makeup subscription for March 2023. And look how cute this box is. It's adorable. But before we get into that, let's talk about a couple of products that I'm wearing today on my eyes. I have the 100% Pure Fruit Pigmented Eyeshadow in Cinnaban, and it's just kind of like a rosy gold color. In the mirror, I liked it. I'm not liking it so much on the viewfinder. I don't know why. It's kind of making me look like I've got pink eye or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being hypercritical. You guys let me know. But in person, it looks really pretty. So I'll probably hold on to that. Now, all my cheeks and lips, I have the Medusa's Makeup All Natural and Vegan Lip and Cheek Stain. And I'm not loving this. I feel like it almost gives no color to the lips. Almost gives no color to the cheeks. And I went in with my finger over and over and over again. I even tried to brush. It does nothing on the brush. Don't bother with the brush. Um, I'm going to give this away to a friend to see if maybe they have better luck with it. Because I'm not so fond of it. And actually... I think I'll put on a little something else on my lips so I could feel a little more alive. There we go. A little more life on my face now. Close that drawer. So those are the two products I used today. And I actually also used this um, Medusa's makeup brush. And I'm not going to fault the brush for the fact that I couldn't pick this up because I was warming it up a lot with my finger and it still wasn't doing anything. So that's that now let's go ahead and get into the subscription box so the theme this month is spring fling here's our card kind of matches the box it says we'll have a 75 dollars value in this box and it shows five items so let's go ahead and get started not on the card is this uh plant fusion collagen beauty uh citrus hydrator thing and attached to that is a little flower hair clip. Kind of uh, cheesy. It's very cheap. It's definitely just like crafting material. But, you know, I guess it's a little prop in a video or something. It's alright. I'm probably just going to get rid of this, to be honest. But I will use this in a smoothie or something. And it doesn't appear either of those were included in the value of the box. So at least there's that. Now, let's break into the little package that has all the products in it. So, the first item I'm grabbing here is from Public Goods, and it is their lip balm. And, let's see, the card says this is a $4 value. I've had this lip balm before. It is sufficiently just an okay lip balm. It's not bad. It's not great. It gets the job done. I think I'll probably hold on to this one and make it the first item in the new giveaway box that I'll start collecting for just because um, I've experienced it. I know what it's like. It's not my favorite, even though it's not bad. So I'll give it to one of you guys to experience. So that'll go in the giveaway box. The next item is from Seraphine Botanicals and it is the Rose and Coconut Water Hydration Facial Mist. And the packaging is actually really cute with the gold writing and the palm trees and stuff. You know, if my camera would focus. There we go. Really cute packaging. The card says this is a $24 value. Here is what the little vial looks like. And there is the spritzer. The lid is really big, like comically large. Uh, the ingredients do have fragrant ingredients in them. So I'll just go ahead and add this to the giveaway as well. Why not? May as well. A little disappointing. It is one of the high value products and it's something I'm definitely just not going to use. The other high value product is from So Susan. This is also a $24 value and this is the Lipo Pout. It does have some plastic on it. I'm going to have to figure out getting off. So just a minute. So the packaging is really cute. It's got these like parrots on it. Really nice. It's kind of like that same paper lipstick packaging Tarte has for some of their lipsticks or at least they used to I don't think they do them anymore maybe um so let's open it up and look at the color there's no color listed on the um card I don't see I don't see a color listed on the packaging either now on here it says this is a lip cream and on the card it calls it a lipo pout so I don't know what that's about but um, I can't even get it to turn up. 
So this is a bad sign. This is like really hard to twist. What the heck? I really need both hands. I cannot twist this lipstick up. Okay, well the packaging, even though it's pretty, sucks. The lipstick color itself is beautiful. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Really emollient, really creamy. Now I worry about how emollient that is because to me, when something is this emollient, I think two things right away. It's gonna settle into the cracks in the lips. It's gonna go up the lip lines. So I'll definitely have to give this a full day try to see if it starts traveling up my lip lines. I'm fairly young, I'm 33 and things travel up my lip lines so <laughs> um you have to be careful of stuff like that and i know i'm not going to use a lip liner so now i have to fight this thing to get back in the packaging automatically hate now i also have to take issue with it being 24 dollar evaluation or valuation because i believe one of you told me that so susan is just a white labeling company so if that's the case it really doesn't need to be $24 but the color is pretty I'm going to at least give it a shot the next item we have is one of the eye dusts from Medusa's makeup and this color is ultra violence which I love that name that's really fun this is a $9 value it is labeled on the card that this is the color everyone will be getting so let me get the little plastic out and see if I can get a swatch for you guys Okay, so here is the swatch. This is with a brush, not with my finger. And it's just a lightly lavender tinted kind of silver. It's really, really pretty. I don't know how the purple leaning this will uh, come off on my skin being so yellow undertoned. But I am going to give it a try because it's gorgeous. Look at that. It's so pretty. So pretty. And the last item is a Medusa's Makeup Tropical Eyeshadow in the color Martinique, which is a $14 value. Now, the name Martinique is on the card, so it looks like everyone is getting that shade. I'm having some trouble getting the box open, so just give me a second. We'll be back. So here is the eyeshadow. The tropical ones come in these little teal eyeshadow cases and here is the color it is giving full on drew carey show mimi vibes and i kind of love it i sort of think it's gonna make me look awful but we're gonna try it anyway because it's so fun i have a feeling this will be going to a friend but i have to try it in a future video just to show you guys because it's really fun so let me go ahead and swatch it for you y'all this blue is so bright and in your face it is unhinged it's amazing I love that. Now I can absolutely see how these two would be really nice layered. So really like the pairing this month and I can see how this color would look good with them as well. So I love the cohesion in this box this month. So overall this box, honestly I don't know if these will eventually in the long term once I try them be good on my particular skin tone. I love the zest and the sassiness with these colors. They're so fun. This is what I subscribe to Medusa's makeup for. These fun colors that I wouldn't think to get for myself. So love that. The lipstick, I think it's overvalued and the packaging is garbage in terms of functionality. I mean, aesthetically, it's gorgeous. But the color looks really pretty. I'm not sure about the formula. We'll give it a try. I'll let you guys know. This I would never have used in a million years because it's got like grapefruit extracts and stuff. And this not wild about that. And I've gotten this public goods <laughs> lip balm in so many boxes. And I'm it's just okay. I'm tired of getting it. Stop sending these boxes, please. But I'm gonna give it away to one of you guys and this as well. So not a full loss, but not the best box. It's kind of it's kind of giving me mixed feelings because I'm really jazzed about these colors, but I'm also like kind of meh on nearly half of it. So I'm going to give it a C, a, a C, an optimistic C plus. Let's go with that. That's my 
evaluation of this month's box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did you can give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions you can leave them down below. If you'd like to stick around for a while you can hit the subscribe button and otherwise I will talk to you all later. Bye!